What's up guys, Inigami here, and it is the Genshin Impact 1.4 live stream. It's the blistering early 10 a.m. for me. I'm joined by the lovely Gleanie. Gleanie, say hi. Hi, guys. Hi, Gleanie. What is up? Yeah, this Hello. is going to be Genshin 1.4. I can pause that now. Uh, so I'm going to be watching the live stream for for that. And... Uh, if you, if I, I would highly recommend Gleanie going back to check out the 1.1 live stream preview for Genshin Impact. It is, it is a, it is a unique experience, is what I can call the 1.1 live stream preview. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Just a okay, a unique I'll, I'll experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cinematic masterpiece. It's all right, something, sorry. all right. Uh, uh, so, any predictions yeah. for one point one? I one point four, one point four. Yeah, one point four. Predictions? Uh, well, uh, well, people have been chatting venti, so yeah, venti. So, so yeah. everyone wants the venti banner return. Everyone we have to the Genshin Ooh. Impact version one point four special What's program. Fun? I'm Zach Aguilar. Many of I you also know, the know that the Chinese Traveler version had the either. Gene voice actor on there. <laughs> and so once again, I'm joined by. I'm also Hello, possibly everyone. expecting I'm a Gene banner, voice. just like we got the Kaching banner. Impact. You know, Zach, I think more and more people mm -hmm. are finally getting to know your voice from these special programs we keep doing. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. And this oh, time, yeah. we have the, another very the special Aether voice to actor, us. main Please character voice welcome. actors get more work in these live streams than in Harlequin. all of the games. <laughs> I'm Erica Harlicker. I voice Fenty, the windborn bard, who is, spoiler alert, otherwise known as Barbados, the animal archon himself. <laughs> Venti voice act is pretty good. I'm absolutely thrilled yeah, to do version awesome. 1.4 previews with you two. This is going to be so amazing. So great to have you, Erica. That Venti laugh is already a classic, and your voice is amazing as Venti. Do you mind sharing a bit about I how like you hearing do that her shift in and out of her venti yeah. voice? Yeah, well, okay, it's top secret, yeah. but since I like you guys, I'll tell you. Okay, you just have to get into like the right headspace. So think about apples. Oh, dandelion wine, delicious. Gliding is so much better than walking. I'm the greatest five star in the whole universe. And then you just speak. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me try it. <clears throat> <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> that was so good! <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I tried my best. Um, anyways, before we get to the new version previews, I'd like to thank all of Invitation our viewers out there for joining us today balloon. and for their continued love and support of Genshin Impact. Yeah, this is a thank wind you, everybody! Balloon. Thank you! You're all Can amazing! I? So, how's your journey been through version 1.3 so far, Erica? It's been so cool, so much fun. My favorite thing so far has been the Lantern Rite Festival. I'm like... Okay, so I'm like low key obsessed with wish lanterns, and it's my bucket list item to like do one of these festivals in real life one day. So I have a simple request so for Genshin's cool. new, so new events. Oh my gosh, it's just I'm obsessed. get events oh gosh, where you yeah, have multiple so characters pretty. in there. Stop oh, having events with one way, character only. How was your fight with the primo like, what, the event balance? <laughs> no, like store, like quests, uh, yeah, like Hu Tao's entire uh, story. Uh, I loved Hu Tao stories idea, but imagine this. Imagine how much better. The, that Hu Tao <laughs> quest would have been if Hu Tao uh, okay, was okay. helping really like Zhang Li or Gan Yu help out <laughs> one of their it. like <laughs> All deceased right. friends. In version 1.4. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would have been, the that would been nice. Instead, we in just help out a rando. Festival, a traditional yeah. festival of Mondstadt. <gasps> Another festival? Oh my gosh, I love it! And this time it's in Mondstadt. Oh my god, it sounds Ooh. so much fun. Yeah, it's a festival that gains its spirit from a thousand wins, which. I love. <laughs> Plus, in version 1.4, we'll have a new playable character, several special yes. events, and a new style Just of gameplay one, to explore. Also, the game's main storyline will be progressing in version 1.4, so how good is that? And last but not least, we'll be having some optimizations and adjustments to our overall gameplay experience, too. Wow, sounds so exciting. I can't wait to see more of the details, especially for the Windbloom Festival. But before we get into the juicy previews, let's not forget to mention that we will be giving away redeemable codes for our live viewers throughout the stream. And as always, the codes might appear at any time during the show. Right, so stay tuned and be oh, ready, yeah, everyone. Okay, codes. no time to lose. <laughs> let's get to the official nice trailer to get other for codes. Genshin Impact. Nah, it's, it's, it's the exact same. <laughs> Nothing special. Of Windbloom. Let's 
Can, no! Are we gonna get the main story content? Or is it gonna be anything longer than five minutes? Yeah. Venti! Ugh, my boy. So, traveler, the Mondstadt Windbloom Festival. Do you like it? That's why Jean's featured. Oh, we, we, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Come on, put your skills to the test. Ooh. She's very pretty. Oh. Hey, it's Fall Guys. What? Come enjoy the Wind Bloom Festival. It is Fall Guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Korok seed hunting all over again. Just like um, mini games. <gasps> DDR! Oh, adventure uh, with you? Uh, rhythm Just like games! We do if I was oh, on your adventure rhythm games! Team? Could I ask you for some oh, kind of yes. chivalric training? I'm still feeling quite <laughs> Give uncomfortable. Give me some us. I Give me bad so apple and us. Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but... Uh, look out! Oh, oh. Unofficial business? How's the research going? <laughs> Rosaria, I hate that text. You can't read that. Don't overdo it. Let me take care of the dirty work. Oh, that's a bot. I hear you've got a job for me. You can't run! I want it so bad. Like. I like this music. Oh, this is the best preview. This is this is a, this this is a good good song. I like it. Yeah, man. She's super spicy. Was it Ice of this mage? I mean, Ice uh, Fatui agent. Yeah, man. No, this is one of the harbingers. This isn't just an ice for two agent. Oh, or water. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's that's one of the harbingers. I thought that was just a Fatui agent reskin, like the Sinsin mage reskin, but no, nah, he's a special boy. It's the Abyss Herald. Yay! Everybody's favorite boss. <laughs> I'm tending tight. Oh! Branching story mode? I saw that. You didn't try oh, to okay. see that by me. That was, that was like branching, branching choices in the story. Ooh, that'd be cool. When is it going to be on Switch, though? Wow, Mondstadt is so pretty with the spring vibe. It looks like the whole city is decorated in flowers. And those mini games, oh, they look like they will be a lot of fun to play, too. <laughs> right? I'm more interested in the new enemy, though. I got goosebumps when he appeared in the trailer. Like, ah, scary. <laughs> Same. So why don't we start by introducing more about our new playable character and that scary new enemy? All right. It's all you, Zach. Mmm. Mmm. I love Rosaria's backstory. Oh, she's got such a good backstory. Mmm. <laughs> nice, full, fleshed out backstory. Yes. She needs to join Team Gleanie. Oh. Everyone's complaining about, like, the Rosaria boob nerves. I don't. I don't. No, I don't see mind. them. Listen, Do you disciple. See them? No, if I don't, you've got a problem you can't handle, then I'm the one for the job. But if None you're looking for who... prayer, you'd better find some other sister. A nun who outside her huh? grass seems nothing you're not at all. You're a disciple. Alrighty, the new right. four-star playable character for version 1.4 is Rosaria, oh, one of the sisters badass. from Mondstadt's Church of Pavonius. Oh, I remember her. She's the mysterious.
previous one we encountered in Dragon Spine. You know, the one with her guard is so high she can't even see over the top of it. <laughs> She's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she kind of just looks like bored and apathetic. <laughs> I guess it's no surprise that she has a cryo vision. Fits her personality, huh? And as for her weapon, she wields a polearm. Ah, cold and sharp. Yeah, sounds about right for her. She might appear to be indifferent and uncaring, but she defends Mondstadt in her own way from the shadows. Let's jump into some of her skills. Sounds good! With her elemental it's skill, Chung -Yung. Ravaging Confession, Rosaria swiftly shifts her position to appear behind the enemy, and then pierces and slashes them with her polearm, dealing cryo damage. Uh Okay, so note to self, never play hide and seek with Rosaria. She'll be sneaking up behind you with like her icy gaze. Oh my gosh, I am also like really easily scared. So that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but one thing to note though, is that she can't use this skill to travel behind larger enemies. Aww. Oh, I was just thinking about how Rosaria would take on enemies like Ruin. Yeah, I do believe Rosaria is permanently joining the banner, sure. not huh? on a yeah. limited banner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, never really that'd be sick. Chance. <laughs> Once Rosaria unlocks her is talent, Regina Probationa. Uh, she is just a four star character, so it would be weird to have a limited banner four star confession. character. Okay, so is it just she's me or is she starting to sound less like a woman of the cloth and more like an assassin of the blade? <laughs> yeah, but an assassin lugging I'm around the arm wouldn't that stuff. be like too conspicuous? Nah. <laughs> well, somehow she pulls she's got no, she's all got like no burst, story relevance of relevance yet either. So. Is her signature act oh, okay. of prayer. After swinging her, her weapon Yung to ult. slash the nearby enemies, she summons a frigid ice lance that strikes the ground, dealing cryo damage. The ice lance will then periodically release blasts of cold air dealing more cryo damage. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. She'll be yeah, like, Chung you better say your prayers because I'm saying mine. <laughs> Speed, Chung Young. After unlocking her talent, Shadow Samaritan, Rosaria increases nearby party members' crit rate after unleashing her elemental burst. Oh, oh cool, 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 cool. so that's so just like Ganyu. Like a damage dealer and a support depending on how we use her. Right. And check this out. She has a special talent called Nightwalk, which increases the movement speed of her party She's members a lady of the night. night between 6 p.m. Nice. to 6 a.m. Oh my gosh, nice. like the whole team can move faster with her in the darkness? <gasps> it sounds like we'll be out doing some nice. nighttime exploration. Ooh, that's, uh, we're going to have a new Genshin move speed <laughs> record. I think the fastest okay, move speed you can get in Genshin right now is like <clears throat> plus 56%. Wouldn't be faster? <laughs> it's, it's just improving so much. <laughs> oh. It is. But we all know that floating is she way said better. The thing. Uh, by the way, all of Rosaria's talents sound very pious, but Rosaria just so doesn't quite look her the kit. Part. I don't she think is going to be that, worth like, doing DPS. Or, or uh, probably mean, burst DPS, you know, which is that. more support or I know, right? she, she yeah, even just support. Barbados, uh, the I don't. I don't see her kit supporting a main DPS. Um, how dare? Uh, how does that make you feel? <clears throat> As the wind blows careless and free, so too may the people of Mondstadt do as they please, I guess. Well, that's one way to put it. So where can travelers get Rosaria? Right. She'll be available in an event wish, which brings us to the event wishes for version 1.4. Hmm. As you can see, we'll be having both the windborn bard Venti and All right. child Tartaglia returning through their own There's separate our return event banners. wishes in version 1.4. Yeah. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm sure nice. many players have everyone, to everyone after diamond Venti's hands for Venti paying off. Like myself. Ooh. So now Venti and Child, guys. Getting him. I yep. finally have my whoop, Venti. Whoop. I need myself, please. I can't wait. And it's perfect timing. We'll have the Windbloom Festival alongside his banner. I mean, what better way to celebrate a festival in Mondstadt than with the animal Archon himself? <laughs> I'm Hold my I'm hoping actually for a weapon. Oh, here we go. In weapon addition to yes, 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 yes. We will also be seeing some new oh, yes, weapons yes, yes, yes. in version 1.4 I think you'll like well, a couple seconds of front me. Such as the five-star <laughs> weapon, Elegy for the End. Ooh. And the Alley series weapons, Wine and Song, Alley Hunter, oh, and hot. the Alley Flash. Ooh, Elegy for the End. It's what a poetic name. And they're also pretty looking too. Yeah, I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for these. Nice. And with new weapons comes a new enemy. After the version update, we'll get to meet our latest foe, an Abyss Herald. Oh, is it that the enemy that the weird loner Danesliff has been chasing after? <laughs> well, I wouldn't call Danesliff a weird loner. I'm sure he's got his reasons to act the way he does. But anyway, let's oh, take a look at the monster. they pronounce Leaf so strangely. They pronounce... They, I hate Genshin's pronunciations. 
Genshin, Genshin pronounces everything wrong. Dane Slith. How how you meant to say it? Uh, it's it's Leaf. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> look at him, just little blade storming boy. <laughs> this looks difficult. I'm not gonna lie, he looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh. I Careful, you might cut aesthetic. yourself on all that edge. Color, but he also looks really Ooh. scary and like I'm gonna die a thousand times, so right? <laughs> I'm torn. He was huge. He was gigantic. Oh my gosh. But he also seems like he's very related to our storyline too, which is cool. Yeah, that's right. So he won't be appearing as a regular boss yet. We're Aww. only gonna encounter him in the storyline. Oh, so man. Like one time boss? I can't die to him a million Aww, times. man. Aww. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what becomes what? of him in the Abyss Order in later updates. Oh, I'm super curious about how the storyline's gonna progress with him in version 1.4. Right? Luckily, we do have some hints to reveal about that. As the story progresses, we will meet Bowkeeper Dainsliff again. Yeah. Right, and Kai? deeper into the Dainsliff. secrets behind the abyss. Dainsliff. Ew, Let's check out God. some screenshots, shall we? Oh my gosh, yes, I love Just like spoiler. how Tartaglia like can't pronounce his own name. What's going to happen in the next version? <laughs> <laughs> not pronounced Tartaglia. <laughs> if not pronounced Dainsliff. Know way more than Zach, who voiced nothing. Yeah, but I forget everything. Uh, <clears throat> well, anyways, let's get to our first screenshot. Whoa, Ooh, it's so purple and creepy. Those chains are like, ah, holding it in place. I feel like it's gonna come after us. It, wait, is it upside down? It is indeed. As we follow the Abyss Herald oh, to a weird domain, a statue of the travelers seven. will discover oh, a I statue see of the Seven hanging upside down. Whoa, oh, they've like taken it captive. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> And in Storm Terror's lair, we'll get to reveal Dane's secrets leaf, behind leaf. the first ever Ruin Guard <laughs> in Tavat. Oh, what's the story behind the Ruin Guards? I can't even start to imagine. I know, I want to find out more. Tell me. In version 1.4, it'll be up to travelers to confront the Abyss Herald's scheme to build an ultra destructive weapon. The story will be quite the ride, with some twists along the way. And that's Venti's voice actor's real voice, not, not her what? Venti voice. Come on, Zach, you can't tell us anything else? Hmm, okay. Let's just say things are gonna make an impact. An impact? Oh, this isn't man. the time for jokes, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, you know, joy, bitterness, relief, and disbelief, and all that good stuff. Ooh, mysterious. Come on, you gotta give us more than that, though. <laughs> I said nothing. Let's leave it for our players to explore. As for now, we'll be giving away our first redeemable code. Yeah! Viewers, are you ready? Whoa, now's the time to summon your friends if you haven't done so already. Code inbound in three, two, All one. All right, it's just it's just code time. So, <clears throat> oh man, oh my God, look at that long code. We already we already got them all though. Yeah, we already got them all, guys. I don't know why they okay. can't just use words, man. Genshin Impact, use use your use your words. Use the <laughs> dictionary, Genshin Impact. Make it. Rosaria uh, 69 420 or something like that. Make it so make, make something we can type in and remember, okay? Like, it's not, <laughs> you don't gotta do these random strings of things. Make it Venti drinks apple wine 69. I, I, I think I used 69 already, but let's do that. I'll make us type these in. All right, so Rosaria's kit, I don't think supports a, a, a main DPS kit. Rosaria's kit is like there's an E for damage that pops behind you, deals damage. Not that you can't build her main DPS, but I definitely think it's best built as support, especially as a four star character. Just build her as support. Uh, will be nice to slap her in with a few things like slapping her with Deluc, Klee. Gonna be great. Ooh, it'll be like a beautiful so family. Main event in be all about the wind <laughs> it'll be festival. easy for you to uh Yay, to pull her as a four star. You don't have to go that deep. fitting to introduce the festival than the voice of the animal archon himself. Take it away, Erica. Ha, that banner's gonna be such a win-win, man. I'll be interesting to see if hopefully she's just gonna be on like Venti banner. I don't think they said which one. They just said event banner. Yeah. Hopefully she'll just okay, be on fine. venti and I mean, makes it really like easy for people to choose which one to pull on. So let's have a look at the event page first. Windbloom is the festival of freedom and romance. She's on child banner. 
There's a tradition to send flowers to oh. your loved ones okay. during the festival. And people That's fine. offer Child's good too. to the Animo Archon Barbados. Well, why need child when we have fire too. child now? It looks like many people love Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? My popularity knows no bounds. Uh, so what exactly is a wind bloom? Is it like a specific kind of flower? Uh, well. That's a question that even the residents of Mondstadt find hard to answer. Um, here's a chart of all the wind blooms people have hypothesized so far. Wait, we even have a chart? <laughs> so just to be sure, they count small lamp grass, which is a grass, and wolf hook berries, berries, as flowers too? Eh, why not? In the land of freedom, anything is possible. But which flower is the wind bloom in your mind? Travelers will get to choose one in the event storyline. Great! I'll choose sticky honey roast. <laughs> That's not even a plan. Stop what? telling me how to live how? my life, Zach. Wh which one could but be hey, the wind I'll bloom? It, as long hmm, as you bring some I good wonder. Blood, okay. Oh, we'll do. The hmm. traveler will cover it. He's had Mora. What? Hey, hey! <laughs> See, this moment of joy is what we're all chasing after, right? There will be plenty of that waiting in the it's event. It's a real storyline. mystery. And in the festive anecdotes section of the Wind Bloom Festival, we're gonna explore more tales aside from the main event storyline. Don't forget <laughs> to check those out. Noted. But can we get to those mini games, please? I'm super interested in those. <laughs> yeah, sure. We have three types of mini games featured in the Wind Bloom Festival. Oops, oops. The first one is Bullseye Balloons. In this game, travelers will get to put their archery skills to the test as they accumulate points for shooting the right balloons in succession. But be careful, some balloons reward points while others deduct points. The balloons are so cute! Did you see that some of them look like kitties? I want to <laughs> get one of those! I know, right? Our second minigame is Floral Freefall. As its name indicates, travelers will be trying to collect flower balls while free-falling through the air. Oh, I love floating around in the sky! <laughs> Well, this one's less about floating and more about falling. Uh, the more so that's time similar you have to the um, you finish around, the more bonus uh, flying license thing. So be sure not yeah, to more float around events. too long. I'm not crazy and about the course, gliding events, but... And if you don't collect enough flower balls on your way down, you won't and get funny a enough, either. Once uh, you reach the ground, C1 Venti, where Venti's attack over. splits into three, maybe not good for the archery event. Well, we definitely <laughs> oh, yeah. If you want to be, <laughs> you want to be accurate. So I think it fits perfectly with the Windbloom Festival. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Uh, oh, just a friendly reminder to our players: please be careful out there. Um, falling hurts. Unless you you're now doing an air attack. Ooh, hopefully we can <laughs> oh, use this to. Like, well, I guess our we don't really need shortcuts places, but it'll be fun to just jump off and die. Will be ballads of breeze. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. It has a liar as its icon. Yeah, us. Yes. And that's because we're gonna play the liar in Ballads of Breeze. It's Oof. a rhythm game. Travelers will need to press the circles on the screen at proper timings to earn the points. Oh, it looks super challenging. Wait, wait a second. There's archery, gliding, and playing a liar. <gasps> it's Venti! <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> I guess the people can't help but take after their beloved Archon. Yes. Anyway, I really love all those peaceful challenges. Is there any chance that we get to play them after what do you the get, events though? are over? Uh, What's the loot? It's the same no, thing as always. But travelers will be able to gain two gadgets gems, by participating materials. in the minigames. Ooh, gadgets. One of which is called the Windbloom Festival Commemorative Balloon. Oh. So we are getting one uh, of those balloons. Yay! Sweet. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the other gadget travelers may receive is called the Windsong Lyre. With this lyre, travelers may freely play original music oh, in the game. Oh, this is really and cute. And you can even play the lyre together with oh. friends and co-op. Oh. Yes. oh, this is really cute. I can't wait. I know, isn't it so cool? <laughs> okay, let's move on to the third section of the Windblown oh, Festival. Oh, we can make songs. Band. Band. Yeah, a band. We're doing it. Oh, I'm, ke I'm keeping, I, I, I kept spectator. like enemies? 600 oh, of the no lanterns. Enemies? I got enough lanterns well, to last me domain, for <laughs> until next year. Travelers will encounter three small <laughs> randomly generated challenges to unlock buffs before facing off against a final boss. The buffs gained depend on the performance in the small challenges. Let's check out how that works in game. Whoa, that's crazy. I mean, they actually have that many challenges oh to play? <laughs> Yeah, some look pretty oh, familiar, God. like the bubbles and the electric cubes. Oh, and picking flowers. That's peaceful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, and then you You're have to right get there, to, like, places where it's not gonna collapse. Oh, I know this game. Yeah. It is it is full, guys. Oh my god. Though, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh my god. god, China, I love you. 
Hey man, I got the best formula. Oh my god, it's so popular. It's the same stage as make Make the money. I love memory games. Oh, it is the same. Oh, it's so the same. I would have messed up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> China, I love festive you. Festive tour tickets and peculiar collab coupons from mini games uh. and peculiar Wonderland, respectively. Which Ooh, they can new bow, for new four star bow. The, the four star weapon nice. Wind Bloom Ode will be available for exchange up to refinement level five. Oh, that's a and a total of one thousand Primo gems. Nice, nice, nice. Fancy bow, fully oh, refined. Yeah. That's gonna. Be <laughs> oh, and uh, that just about does it for the five Wind star bow. Wow, I'm so. So excited for the live really? five if it, uh, yeah well not I mean, five ascension sorry five ascension so it's yeah. gonna be like the okay. um we'll the dragon spine yeah. sword yeah. Yes. nice yeah we'll make yes. music together <laughs> i love it nice <laughs> nice nice every song, so i love the uh, encouragement of co-op stuff i know yeah. i know i just I, he knows every song canonically so i i'll be the leader i just wish that tower defense mode was permanent okay coming yeah man I wish that battle could happen more. Gameplay and that a one-off thing, man. In version 1 .4. They're called Hangout Events. Ooh, Speaking of new permanent... Events, that's right. Characters in-game will send awesome. invitations to hang out with them. Great. So how do these Hangout Events work? Travelers will need to use story keys to unlock a hangout event. In a hangout event, travelers will spend some time with the character Wait, that invites them out. And will have a chance to get to know that particular character even better. So they're sort of like story quests? Actually, they're pretty different. In hangout it's a visual events, novel. It's a dating sim. Travelers will be facing different yeah. choices throughout <gasps> the dialogues. And these choices I can will have an impact on how the story Yeah, look, you got hearts on the upper right. It's a dating sim. Whoa, that's a lot no of No way! <laughs> oh, yeah. And certain scenarios Chat, who are you even dating cause first? hangout events Chat. to finish without an actual uh, ending. Uh, da, da, da. Good old Benny. Oh, so what if I choose the wrong Benny? option and yeah. get an ending that I yeah. don't want? Benny, Benny deserves or no it. no ending at all. Will <laughs> that be final or can I get another chance? Yep, we'll have chances to retry. All you need to do is enter the hangout event again and choose different options throughout the story dialogues. In fact, travelers will be able to play oh, through Oh, so this is what you're seeing before about the like. line. The more endings we unlock, yeah, that's the that's the, the lines. Oh. So that, that's yeah. the, the really those branching paths. So you actually want to get all branching. You want to get bad endings because oh, so you get rewards choices. for bad endings, it seems. Oh, awesome. Oh, I forgot to mention yeah, that each time we so even though so even though there's like a good ending, we'll you want to get all the bad hangout endings. Memory illustration of our traveler and the character in the hangout of it. Oh, so pretty! Oh, the glimpses that you get of Genshin characters <laughs> yeah. when they're Genshin when they're like Impact fully animated, it's just so much personality yes. there. Like there's <laughs> so much personality. The characters are so lively so in the cutscenes cool and stuff. To invite us to hang out. I just well, wish they would use their characters more. Genshin, you have so many good characters. Use them in game more. Please use them more. Too much for one heart. But as the traveler, I hang out uh. with everybody, so I've got this. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I'm hanging out with Noel first. I know first. that everybody would love to know more about the characters. Plus, we did. Oh yeah, really I guess this would be the first time we get to canonically in interact with well, with Noel and Chung Young. So and I'm Benny. super curious about what this will bring. I guess this is our yeah, chance it's the first time we get to canonically them. interact with him. Speaking them. of which, yep. I find it hard to imagine Chung Yoon inviting me out. <laughs> Maybe he'll invite you for a popsicle. <laughs> Want to chill with Chung Young? And that's not all. 100% we'll be getting spring. more hangout events with future version updates. So be sure to keep an eye out for those down the roads. And now I can start my harem. Ah, I'm so excited. It's, it's harem. I can't wait to try these. But okay. So that's all I have. Regarding the new hangout events, again, <laughs> pronunciation. Remember that these quests are lasting additions and won't that disappear. That is a weird pronunciation. Version updates. <laughs> That's good. Harem. I hardly about know them. Some challenges that'll be exclusive <laughs> in version 1.4. Ooh, you're right on track. We'll get to those in the next section. Okay, with that in mind, I think it's time for us to give away our second redeemable code to reward our loyal viewers out there. Yes, finally! <laughs> code inbound in three, two, one. Oh, code time. Uh. Mm. Hi, Venti. All right, Venti. Venti return banner is gonna be good. Uh, Tartaglia return banner. Now, now that we have Hu Tao, Hu Tao's, I'd, I'd argue Hu Tao's just basically better child. 
Like you don't need C you don't need C6 Hu to, to have Hu Tao your main DPS. <laughs> and the six second downtime for Hu Tao's E is so nice. How are you liking your Hu Tao? You 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 got it right, Gleanie? Yeah, I got her. I got her. I haven't um really built her yet. I imagine not, done anything not with maxing her yet. out everybody. Uh, I know. So uh, I've got I've got so much homework to do that you gave me from last I know, last Gleaning, stream. What, are, did you did you is your is everything I, good now? Did you did you do all the things? You max out everything I told you to. So <laughs> I maxed out one. my my gravestone and the bow, and now I have nice. no more left, and I'm poor. And now I understand what you mean. <laughs> I about told you. <laughs> What, 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 what words did you send me? I have so much money. I don't know why people are complaining about money. <laughs> I'm like, I'm poor. Hmm, sounds like it Please has something donate to do more. Water. You're sort of getting there with the water idea. In Wishful Drops, a strange little life form who travels all the way from the nation of water accidentally causes a crisis in Mondstadt's wine industry. <gasps> what? No, a crisis in Mondstadt's wine industry? Ugh. Far be it from me to witness such tragedy. <laughs> You're such an alcoholic. <laughs> Sounds like a dream yeah, come baby. true for Diona, though. I mean, she'll be happy. Ooh, In order cute. to solve the problem, travelers will partner up with a little oceanid of pure water, explore different areas together, it's and help Pokemon! The creatures. The Wait, what? Will They're learn throwing no! Pokeballs! No! There's oh, Pokemon! They're throwing Pokeballs! <laughs> this is Pokemon and throwing. After all the explorations are over, the little oceanid will be added to our inventory, just like the Sealy from Lost Riches. <gasps> Great. Oh, Another this, this is so much better than the Sealy. All the more reason to Yeah, man. It's so fucking hey, cute. Stop oh. to take my job. <laughs> oh, I'm. This is. Oh, I'm using this over Sealy immediately. <laughs> Back to the topic. Yeah. While I want little the little bird. Is learning from its exploration. The event challenge raging Gotta Rodea catch will chat. appear yes. in Wishful Pokemon mode. Let's go. Rodea. Yeah. Pokemon. Pokemon. That's a familiar name. Oh, oh shit! You get oh, oh, as well. She's the Oceanid of Chingsa. Oh yeah. And Mora. Her. Look at the Mora. It's Mora. Man, that's gonna be scary. It her. Man, that's gonna be scary. In this event challenge, Rodea gets unusually boisterous and filled with rage, gaining some extra power and abilities. Oh, so it'll basically wait, be like Wait, 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 did they rename this, the, the voice again, of the water? I feel like I can Ocean totally of King anticipate Say. my fate. But we got you covered, Zach. It's not Travelers called the voice of water anymore. We'll damage directly to Rodea's body in this challenge. And we can team up oh, yeah. to fight her in co-op mode. Hey, it's water albedo. Fight me, Zach. <laughs> so be sure to give it a try. What? Sounds good. But I'd like to know what we can get from this yeah. challenge. Yeah, they me cha too. They changed it. It's yeah, like, it used to be the, the voice of water. Of character experience materials as rewards. Oh, thank goodness. I pretty much always need more of those. It costs original resin to collect Might those rewards, be the so event. it's not like unlimited. I don't know. Aww. Yep, gotta be, gotta use that resin. What? Remember the little Oceanid? Each time we help it absorb enough Oceanid creatures from an area, we will get one heart of the spring, which can be used one at a time to claim rewards from Raging Rodea. There are five areas to explore, so we will get five heart of the springs in total. Why is it Oceanid Ooh, instead of Ocean? Id. Ocean is in the word. I don't understand Another why you're pronouncing things like this, Genshin. <laughs> is called Contending Tides. Why isn't it just pronounced uh, Ocean Id? And it just so ah. happens that we have a cool trailer for it. Zach, I'll need your deep voice for this. You mean this voice? That's what I'm talking about. Ready? Action! <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, oh. Damn, puberty hit him hard. Everyone born in this corner of the world has dreamed about becoming the strongest in Tavad. Dada Upa Gorge's media arena is currently summoning all contenders willing to fight for that title. Time limits. Wait, the did it say welcome to easy mode? Tough enemies. Yeah. All manner of challenges and goals. Such things aren't good for your health, you know. The proportion of conductive substances within the sweat from your battle-worn brow is less than 1%. Release powerful shockwaves in this manner and increase the damage of your next plunging hey, attack. Look, this is known in some circles as the art of the cannonball. Welcome to Shao 2. Mighty Shao. ancient warriors shall do battle with the rising star known as the Traveler. 
Is this what they call a clash of the titans? I'll be honest, I don't like his deep voice. I think he's trying. I think he's like pushing it. Yeah, it's Sometimes like voice. you gotta tough it out a yeah, bit. Yeah, it to sounds the out of his regular range. I don't mean to be rude. Frost arm lodgers training. That's not fair to the weak. Like I can tell that he's he's pushing his voice out of its regular vocal range. And cut. <laughs> oh my gosh, Zach, that was amazing. That was so cool. Okay, any movie trailer casting directors, uh, Zach should be in all of your movie trailers. Just saying. Hey, yeah, I'm here. I'm I'm open to all opportunities. <laughs> As shown in the trailer, we will have all those challenges in Dada Upa Gorge's Meaty Arena. Starting from the <laughs> first day of the event, <laughs> a new challenge with three difficulty levels will be yeah, added daily. Yeah, high difficulty. Hopefully this will be as hard difficulty. as the uh, so do I need hypostasis to event. I would love to this to be as hard as hypostasis. Nope. Upon completing a higher difficulty, all difficulties below it will be deemed completed as well. Nice. But you nice. do need to pay attention nice. to the completion criteria. There are three criteria per challenge, and you have to achieve them all to complete the challenge. Oh, so there's like a challenge. Oh, awesome. Looks like we'll have plenty to do there. That being said, it is like the Geo thing. Buffs in each I, I'm gonna bet it's if like kill things with those, plunging attacks, kill things with elemental challenges. reaction. That's, that's what I'm betting some of these. So what uh, kind of buffs can travelers expect to see? Are. We'll have to wait and check them out in game. Ooh, they're probably related to those epic lines you just read, Zach. Who knows? <laughs> and that's all for the new events in version 1.4. How exciting! And as always, our last section will be about our optimizations and new features added in Genshin Impact version 1.4. Erica, I'll leave this part to yes, you. Features. Yes, features. Yes. Hit me. The developers of Genshin Impact always want to provide better gameplay experiences through new features and adjustments. And this time, we are having some handy optimizations, too. Let's check out what's on the list. At the top of the list is condensed resin. Yes. Yeah, many travelers have been hoping they would raise the limit, resin. and it yes. turns out wishes will come true. Yes. In version 1.4, Genshin Impact will be increasing the limit of condensed resin one can hold from three to five. Convenience. Yay, so we can save more resin and use them in specific domains. Yes, that's right. And when we're too busy to play, we can save Finally, more than right, a day's resin for later use. Time to farm those crystal flies. Get out oh, of the thank God. nets. <laughs> the next oh, optimization I, that will last be for the game's spiral cooking this? system. After the version update, travelers will be able to cook food manually, even if they've ah, already unlocked nice. auto-cook for that particular dish. We can select how to cook it, more freely. Just huh. for fun. But why would we need manual cooking in so the first place? that way you place? can get the achievement. Well, there's an achievement for cooking <laughs> suspicious food. And if you've cooked every dish perfectly because you're just amazing at the game, then you might miss this one. So now we can try yeah. this out for any food at any time. Ha! Oh. Yeah. foods never stop well. going on before. <laughs> Speaking of which, with you the have new version hundred? update, overall production <laughs> experiences such as cooking, crafting, and forging will improve with a new adjustment. The game will remember which character we've used to make certain products and will set them as default for the next production. Oh my god, course, that's so nice. Thank you. That's incredibly convenient. Change the character convenient. manually. Oh, that's so nice. We won't need to scroll through the list looking for the right <laughs> characters every that's time very now. Convenient. Yeah, Thank you. Saves time and scrolling. Another important feature change to expect in the version update will be regarding the game's world level. Oh system. my god, there's merchandise. There's there's store 1. merch. 4, travelers will <gasps> what? actually there's be a, able to Yeah, in the menu right in the bottom is merch. Oh, I see the bomb. <gasps> oh, that's crazy. Chat. So there you go, like Genshin merch. If you don't want to stay in the harder world then. Exactly. Travelers will be able to dip their toes in the harder world level and decide if they want to stay there or lower it back down. Ooh, you this can change, change world level. World level Finally. Will unlock at world level I can go five. back down. I mean, I can continue to go up. lower their world level by one once the function is available. But the question is, can we return to the harder world level once we're ready? Oh yeah, totally. Travelers may revert their world level if they wish. And of course, the rewards from world bosses and ley line blossoms correspond to the current world level. So everyone will have to balance the pros and cons. 
one thing to be noted, travelers will only be able to change oh, their okay. world level once every 24 hours. So be sure to think it through beforehand. Ooh, nice. This one's definitely an interesting change. Next, our in-game profile screen will have a new feature in the coming. I personally don't oh, care for I that, but I can in one see why they people added want it. The character showcase. So what did we get this time? <laughs> yeah, that's right. In version 1.4, there will be a new space I don't to showcase like collected for name cards. Hours. Travelers can use uh, this makes space sense because otherwise, like others, what you would do, it, it, it makes some very degenerate gameplay cards, things. Like they can view the description you'll you'll have it to, to max level as you go through your cards. your dailies, yeah. and then after that you and drop it to level one to farm, least, and then you bring it back up to do ley lines, and then drop it back down with again. So there would be a lot of just playing with your world level up and down, up and down, up and down. So it makes sense they put a twenty hour cooldown on it. They'll also be able to check the elemental yeah, resonance. That was of my master plan, though, Zine. Yeah, the only really, reason you do it is so that, like, you think right you're teams. not strong enough for <laughs> a current world level, but. Travelers will also be able to restart the challenge. I just want to keep it at the higher one for rewards. All we need to okay. do is press the escape <gasps> key or the button on the upper left to retract. Yes! Oh, so we'll Whoa. be able to restart immediately when we know that we've failed, which I do a lot, to get the best rewards. <laughs> ah, retry. Yeah, right? Oh, this is a nice. very important update to me. <laughs> now that'll save some time that's for the abyss grinders. Right there. Uh, oh, Alex um, is happy. Finally. For new features and Suck at 11.2. version 1.4. I'm really excited to see all of these implemented. Sweet. And with that, I think it's time to unpack the last redeemable code. That's right. That's right. Everybody get ready for the goodies. Code inbound in three, two, one. So I think this is the nice, the the most interesting thing about the world level dropping is that you should be able to get your if you if you, anyone has like a second account that they just uh, have for farming or a friend's account who doesn't play anymore, you can drop that account to like world level one and then go into that account and and farm all your uh, all your elites and all that, get those drops and then go back to your world level, which which will be like oh man, you'll feel like such a badass when you walk into a world level one. <laughs> Yeah, I did that the other day with um, a viewer. Uh, I went to help her out, and like I, I one shot the um, ice flower thing with my jow. It just died instantly. Shao, Shao, you're. I was, I was, com I was complaining to my other friend earlier that you're like, people are pronouncing it with a J sound. I don't know where that J. Where, how, how do you? Why did you get the J sound from Shao? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I pronounce like, things wrong though. Like, ex, like with pronouncing like an X, I understand, but the you're the second person to pronounce it like with a J, which I, I just, I'm curious about where that J sound comes from. <laughs> yeah, saying Xiao, me, sounds weird. No, sh, <laughs> sh, shao, yeah, so shao, shao, shao. Like, like, see you later, <laughs> shao, or shower, so shao. shao. Like, I love any excuse to be venti even more, and I love you guys. I miss we you. We love you so too. Much. <laughs> and I miss you so much. I know. Oh, you guys are the best. And I can't wait to do all the updates and play the mini games in the Windbloom Festival. Eek. Yeah, me too. I'm going to enter into your world, Zach. And while you're fighting a big I can, boss, I can understand the Z sound, like try and pronounce X, <laughs> I, Can I also Zao. come and play different songs? I can understand shao. getting a Z in there. Well, yes. but, but, awesome. but shao, <laughs> shao, like <laughs> chow or shao. shao. Or, with it. Had a good time and we'll yeah, like shao, like shao or shao. Don't forget to Hang send on. flowers to those you love during the Windbloom Festival. Yeah. May you find joy in the brilliant flowers and gentle breeze flowing through Mondstadt. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Genshin Impact version 1.4 oh, special it when she does program. The venti voice. Take care. Bye, everyone. It is pretty cute. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, have you seen the, the venti voice actor singing the, the sea shanty? No. Oh, venti voice actor sea shanty is pretty good. All right, I'm going to check that out. And that's it, guys. It's the review. That is it for 1.4. All right. I'm small, excited. small update. Not surprising. Uh, no, no real new major content. We do look, we're getting a new main story. Um, I'm expecting like 20 minutes of main story. I wish, I wish we could get to see inter characters interacting with other characters. That's what I want. Like, like Genshin is con, like Genshin's biggest weakness of the characters it has it has this stellar stellar cast of characters absolutely mm -hmm. stellar cast of characters and they just don't use them enough i'm like looking just, forward to going on dates with them 
Yeah. I want <laughs> I hope that the dates that. also has them interacting with other characters cuz they constantly just like have have you interacting with one character and that's it. One character and a whole bunch of no names. Like you interacting with this person and a bunch of nobodies around Monstat. And you interact with this person and a bunch of nobodies around Li Yu. Like use your characters. You've got Hu Tao. Why isn't Zhang Li in Hu Tao's story at all? They work together all the time. Why can't we have Hu Tao? Like Hu Tao, did you finish the story yet? Yeah, I finished Tao? it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if one of the it three people Hu Tao problem. visit, like what if it was about about Gan Yu and Gan Yu is talking about one of her past friends who died in the war and then you go visit Chi Chi and Chi Chi's like, get the hell out of here. And then you like we go visit mm-hmm. Zhang Li and Zhang Li's like, I'm working. Can't you just leave me alone? And and then you're like, it's, hey, it's why do we point. visit? Why do we visit these people? Like, are we just messing with Hu Tao? Hu Tao's like, well, I, and then it's the same beats happen. And then you go visit Ganyu. And then like, and how much more emotion would that be that you get to see Ganyu's past friend who died in the war? And then we get like a lot of pat uh, of that deep lore about the Archon Wars and stuff like that. Wouldn't that just be like so much better to the story? And they just, they just don't use their characters anymore. I just use more of those character interactions. That's like, did. Whenever we get one character interaction, it's great, and then and then we spend so much time focusing on this nobody little little whatever, and then like the big big G and and all that. Like I don't care about these people. I'm never gonna hear about them again. They don't. They mean nothing to me. But if you made this a backstory about Ganyu or even one of the one of the other adeptus, even though like I don't care that much about them, well, like we can get some deep lore and we can get more things. It would be more beneficial if they interacted with some of the characters that they've already got and they've built, you know, your affection for them and, you know, you you care about them. Yeah. Like, whenever we see Mona and Klee interact, it's like, there's only been a few times we get those good interactions. Mona, Klee, Jean, Jean, Klee. Klee gets all the crossover episodes. Mona, Klee, Jean, Klee. Uh... I think I think we had Fischl and Mona for together in in the event. Although it, it might have just been that the events were close together, I'm just mashing them together in my head. Do you remember Fischl and Mona ever talked? Say again. Do you remember Fischl and Mona ever talked together in the story? I don't think they did. Yeah, I think they're they're. I feel like they did, but I think that it it also could have just been that they're. Oh, they did. They did talk in the event. Okay. Yeah, when Scaramouche showed up. Yes. Okay. Yeah, see, like that. Mona, Fischl, Scaramouche. Like, look at that. Using your characters. And now, if Genshin can just use some of those extra characters sitting around their cities. Imagine you you go in your dailies. You got uh, Venti just sitting on, on a statue playing his song. You got Mona sitting at her house. You got uh, Benny like standing on the walls protecting Mondstadt. You got Shungling in the kitchen. Like, just use like one or two of the characters. You, if you, again, the engine can already handle multiple characters running around in multiplayer, so it absolutely can handle one or two uh, NPCs using the same character models. Just use use your characters. Make make the world of to that feel more alive. Come on, Genshin. Your 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 cast is there. Use your cast. Come on. I want that so bad. When's that update? I thought they better happen at some point. <laughs> but I'm glad that I'm glad that they got rid of the person, or at least they chose a different person to edit the Rosaria intro video. Like that was I, hot, man. I hate the the child and Zhang Li trailers so much. Like, oh my god, I hate those trailers so much. They are so over edited. It's like somebody went through and just like went into their video editing software and found every single special effect and just slapped them all on at once. And oh, just no. that, that more subtle previews of the characters. I like the music. Yeah, the music, the music was, was great. Hot, man. The music was great here. Yeah. Uh, Sha- Shao, the first half of Shao was terrible. The second half of Shao got better, but uh, 
Xiao and Zhang Li especially. I'll always remember Zhang Li as just being so over edited. It's just in your face, like dubstep style over editing that just needs to just let the character like just back off. And they did that a lot better with with the Rosario one. Albedo's is good. Yeah. Just just over editing, just let it relax a little. Anyways, 1.4. Any other any other, yeah, other thoughts, Gleany? Um, uh, I like the uh, the the mini games. I'm excited for those. I'm excited to do play through some of them with my community. I think that'd be yeah. fun. I'm ready um, for fall, guys. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Uh, I think I'll be a, a bit like a joke. Um, yeah, I'm I'm disappointed we haven't got any new areas, but maybe that's a bit too much. For so that's that's what know. they say. That's what the spoilers are saying. One point five is one point five is supposed to be the uh, what is the area? The chasm, which is the area to the west of Liyu Harbor. Oh, okay. So to the west of Liyu Harbor is the chasm, and that's supposed to be one point five. And then the the leaks say that uh, Inazuma is one point six. Area hick. Yeah. Yeah. Wondering. But I don't think Inazuma will be 1.6. I think Chasm will be 1.5, and then we'll get a dead one, and then maybe maybe Inazuma 1.7 is what I'd say. Okay. But uh, if we do get Chasm 1.5 and Inazuma 1.6, I'll take it. But but I, I I don't think we'll get Inazuma that soon. And if you haven't m m uh, noticed by now, Genshin does all their major updates at the end of battle passes, so um, that. I mean that basically tells you about how much time we have till one point one point six Inazuma at the earliest. So hopefully, bit of a wait. <laughs> what is a chasm? I don't know. It's a chasm. It's a it's a big gap. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what we're gonna get there. The abyss, more abyss stuff, more more Fatui stuff, abyss mage things. All right, one point four coming out. I've been Zinigami. This is Gleanie. Y'all stay beautiful.